Hi guys, so I want to talk about how I've used Google Sheets to help me create a digital budget. So Google Sheets is something that's accessible to everyone as long as you have a Gmail account. And the most important thing about it is it's free to everyone with a Gmail account. So I think that it's something that you should definitely take advantage of. Um, if you do have Gmail, um, the only thing about it, so like I said, it is free, but the only kind of downside about it is that you can't connect a bank account to it. So you do have to uh, like plug in the numbers every time you um, like pay for something. But if that's not really like a deal breaker for you, then I think that Google Sheets is a really great alternative. So let's get into how to set up a budget with it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is log into your Gmail account, and then you can go up here to the top to the Google Apps uh, icon, and then scroll down until you see Sheets. Sheets is going to open, and then you can do up here this uh, template gallery, and then that's gonna show you all the built-in templates that Google Sheets has. For us, we are actually ours is at the top. Uh, we want this monthly budget. And so here you are, everything is kind of built already. And so you just have to plug in your own numbers. So first, okay, let's give an overview of everything that's here. So first like only edit the highlighted cells, uh, try not to alter cells that contain a formula. Um, so let's say our starting balance, this is how much we're going to start off with. And let's say we start off with $3,000. Okay. So as you can see, when we change that, this over here changed too. Um, this kind of like bar graph. So let's finish plugging in the other things. Let's focus on our income first. So they have these different categories for income. So let's change the paycheck and let's put that as 3000. So that's planned. Then they have the actual column. So we plan for a $3,000 check or paycheck. And then we actually got a $3,000 paycheck. Um, now this is going to come up, just say, don't show this again or else it's going to show up every time you make an edit to the um, uh, spreadsheet. <laughs> um, so then they have these other columns. So let's say savings, bonus, interest, other, and custom. And you can remove these if you want, but I'm just going to keep them at zero. Um, so that's that. And as you can see, our income uh, bar graph, this changed too. So plan income was 3000 actual income was 3000 So let's go over here to expenses and see how we can change that. So let's say um, they have all these different categories of so food, gifts, health and medical, home, transportation, personal, and so forth. So you can change those um, as you want. But let's go ahead and plug in some of these things. So this is an imaginary budget. I'm just coming up with numbers off the top of my head. Let's say you spend $200 a month on food and for gifts, since this is December, let's say these are Christmas gifts and we can change this to say Christmas gifts. You just click in and you can edit it. So Christmas gifts, let's say you're spending also 200 on Christmas gifts health and medical, nothing's wrong with you, so you don't have to spend anything on that. Uh, home, so let's make this say rent. And let's make this be a thousand. Transportation, let's change that to gas. And it's a pandemic, so you shouldn't really be going anywhere. So let's say like $50 for the month for gas. Personal, let's change this to subscriptions because we all have them. Subscriptions. And let's say all of your monthly subscriptions total to be $80. Um, pets, I don't have any pets, so I'm just gonna leave that. Utilities. Let's say all of your utilities comes out to be 130. 
travel and you shouldn't be going anywhere, but we are paying off our debt. So let's put, uh, what, like 150 towards debt. And let's say maybe you have a car payment. So let's do car payment, car payment. And let's make that to be uh, 205. And then um, they have these other categories. And like I said earlier, if you ever wanna remove one, you just click this row and then right click and then delete the row and then it's gone. Okay, so this is our planned budget. And we let's see, the total of our planned budget is $2,000, $2,015. And then our planned income is 3,000. So we are drastically under budget, yay us. Um, so that's our plan. And then what you want to do as, you know, the month goes by, you have to put in your transactions, right? So down here at the bottom, we're currently on the summary tab, but if you go to transactions, that's where you're going to put in everything that you spend that month. So there's the income. And for us, we can go ahead and change this because we got a $3,000 check. That's the description paycheck and category is paycheck. So if you click that, you can see all those um, income categories that we talked about earlier. So let's go over to expenses. It, that, ugh, can't talk. <laughs> let's go over to expenses. It has the rent already there for us. And for us, our rent was a thousand and that was the description. And then we can change the category because we changed that to rent. Um, and let's come up with something else. So let's say we went to a fast food place and spent $12 on fast food. I like actually naming the restaurant. So let's say it's this. Um, I like doing that because if you go, you can see like over time, like, wow, I went to one place like a lot and it kind of makes you <laughs> feel bad about yourself so that you don't go to that place all the time. So then we put that under food. And if you go back to summary, you can see that this updated and now we've already spent $12 from our $200 food budget and our rent, we've already spent $1,000 from our rent budget. So you can keep going through this and uh, let's say you went to another store and you spent that much and this was for Christmas gifts and that's been updated. And so, yeah, so it updated that part too. So as you can see, this has changed, the expenses has changed. So that's still our plan, but since we've started spending money, um, our actual has gone up too. And so this was our start balance. You may have to update your in balance. So for me, I'm gonna make this be, I want my in balance to be my start balance minus the actual expenses that I have. So what I can do is the in balance, the, sorry, the start balance number is D17. So D17, and then I want it to be minus the actual expenses, which is C22. So this is what I want to do minus C22. There you go, so it's been updated now. So now it is actually correct. And so that's my start balance. And then my current in balance is this because um, I haven't gone through all of my expenses for the month. So this is what you would do. So every day when you are spending money, you would log into this and then you would update it. And by the end of the month, you should have a really good overview of how you spent your money that month. So if you have more than one paycheck a month, Currently, this is a monthly budget with just one paycheck, but if you have more than one, you can just change one of these categories and do uh, paycheck number two. And let's say that one is also $3,000 and you are just killing it, bringing home $6,000, okay. Um, and then actual, you would update that too.
There you go. Or so that you don't have to, um, let's actually just make this 1500. That way all of our other numbers aren't messed up. There you go. So I hope this was helpful. Um, like I said, it's pretty simple to use as long as you remember to uh, plug in your numbers every time you pay for something. But as long as you do that, I think that it shows like a really good overview of where your money is going every month. And I use this all the time, um, especially when I was paying off my car. Um, that's kind of my first uh, way that I started budgeting and I thought that it was really helpful and kind of eye-opening to see exactly where my money was going with every paycheck. So I hope this video helps someone. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave some comments down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.